from the bottom of the ground in there. You could put it right in front of the well if you want because of where you're at in the door. So yeah, 20, I mean, 20 I foot. There, is it gonna, how far is it going to come out into the room? And out of the room to, just like one like square. It'll just it'll just come out like, out like one square, and uh, one square diagonally between where where Donk and Theo are. So we'll say that it you know just because of line of sight reasons, it shoots out into the hall a little bit. But you know nobody's in the squares anyway. It would be the square by the door, and I'll, I'll mark it with a blood token too. So you guys will know you know. So basically, it'll be this square. And this square would be affected because it is 20 feet, and that would be pretty much a 10, 15. So, and then everything else in the room would pretty much be affected, except for okay. the the ogre wouldn't be affected, but all the orogs would. If I move up some, can, we, can I <coughs> see the area where the ogre is? If you want to get in line of sight, sure. No. They're like right behind. Can you see where I'm pointing my thing? Where do you? Oh, that's yeah, you can you can go right there. I'll 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 allow that. Yeah, sure. Okay, so if I go right. right there, I can move it back some. Sure. Yeah, you can put the point. Uh, you know, you can see uh, behind the the second orog there too. I mean. Okay, that's what I want to do because I want to try to try to get um, as many of them, especially the big guy. Okay. In the room as I can. Okay. So basically, what's going to happen is the the web is just going to fill the the first spot there where the door is because of its twenty cubic feet. So, but yeah, there 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 will be web everywhere on the floor. Uh, it'll be difficult terrain for them, and they'll be basically making uh, it'll be double movement. So, let's see if the webs aren't anchored. Webs. You can layer them on the floor, so I'm not sure. You conjure a mass thick uh, webbing at your point of within range. We've already got that. 20 cubic feet, we've already got that. The webs are difficult terrain. Uh, if the webs aren't anchored between two solid matches, which they won't be, uh, such as walls or trees, um, the conjured web collapses on itself and the web ends at the start of your next turn. Mm. So uh, seeing that it's not going to be anchored, it'll, it'll uh, end at the I start of your next turn. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> okay, the hell with that then. All right. Um, all right, I'm going to cast. Um, are, you, are you sure? Even though you said you wanted to cast web, uh, you said you wanted to cast web, so I sh I should actually think I should hold it. Uh, I'll say this: read the spells better next time, and okay. you can you can uh, you can cast something else. But just make sure you. The the ceiling's about probably about fifteen to twenty foot tall. I'd probably say fifteen feet. It says that I can mount it to it. I mean, can you mount it to the ceiling and the floor? So, yeah, sure. You can do that if you want to. All right. Well, then that would count as mounting it then. Okay. Right? All right. You can and do that. Gonna do. I'm going to stick with my original plan. Okay. Then. Sounds good. Do I need? To, I don't think I need to roll anything. No. No, they'll just all, all right. be affected by the web, and so will you if you decide to go into the room. You know what I mean? All right, and the webs are well, flammable. The <laughs> all right. All right, so anything else for you? Is that it? That's it. I'm all right. On. Donk, you're up. So um, he's, he's trapped in the web, perhaps. Just so want them to read the spells a little bit better. Move, push him down, do it like a strength check to push him down into the web. Uh, would he get any kind of uh, uh, like I want to push him down so he's prone? And since there's a web there, will it do anything special? Mm, no, it'll just be difficult terrain. That's all it says. Just, okay, all right, no problem. So I think what Donk's gonna do is I'm gonna rage, and then I'm gonna just swing my monster maul around, and I'm gonna go right for this guy's nards. I want to hit him right in the nuts and have <laughs> him fold up just like a, you know, just like a house of cards. Well, there's really no, there's no trip or you know nothing like that. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, I looked up, I looked up shove, right? It's like, hey, with shove. Yeah. Originally, my thought was I was gonna push him out of the door because I thought he would be wedging it so we couldn't get in position. Yeah. But after she webbed, I thought, wow, I could push him down and maybe the web holds him down or does something. But since it doesn't, no, no big deal. I can still do my uh, famous uh, nut slam. Well, it does say that on a failed save, the creature is restrained. 
as long as it remains in the web. Yeah, but that's that's going to happen regardless. There's yeah. going to be nothing special for me to do what I right. want to do. All right, so here we go. First, I'm going to rage. So let me drop my rage token on him. Huh? huh? That's called memories, Dave. I remember that from last time. Mm -hmm. Right now that I'm raging. Now, will he get any kind of like partial cover because he's around that corner? Are you going to? Uh, are you going to move? Uh, well, if I move, I'm going to. You'll get, get into the web. web. I'll get into the web, but he is at an angle with me. So my thought was, I would just take my my maul and just swing it just right into the door and try to get him right in the nuts. Uh, I'm cool with that. He is a he. You know, this is a pretty big door, and and the map really doesn't doesn't do that justice. So. Uh, the the door would do have to be a little bit wider anyway because of how in the hell did the ogre get into the room in the first place? Think about exactly. it. Well, exactly. So yeah. Maybe he turns sideways. That happens to yeah. me all the time when I'm using the <laughs> All right. So you're gonna rage with your bonus action. Go ahead and uh, hook up uh, with your rage. There's some now, bonus stuff in the DMG, you know, for extra types of actions and whatnot. But I really yeah, don't I use them. I did look at those. I'll, I'll look at those because I try to do. I try to change things up. I'd love to just get him in the nuts, but here it goes, Dave. I'm gonna drop this <coughs> for this guy. Now it's uh, ogre number number one. It so is, he, yeah. yeah. Oh, I gotta find him. I see him. All right, here we go. <laughs> nut slam accomplished. You hit him. Uh, hit him right in the nads. Right in the groin. Here we go. <laughs> Here's the groin damage. Ugh. Oh snap! All right, so wow, nice, uh, nice, nice job. Eleven damage. He's a, uh, he's definitely in a weakened condition. He, you can definitely tell that he's got quite a few wounds that have bloodied wounds that have uh, opened up, and his uh, genitalia has is now shooting blood oh, out of his it armor. Pop <laughs> like a nut. Oh, that is awesome. Pop like a little bit of his scrotum. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Even though I'm raging, it's still hilarious. So I'm gonna sit there and laugh for a couple seconds. Oh, you got not here. <laughs> All right, Kel. Give me a second. Just came off the coffin fit. No problem. I say for now on, everybody aims for the nuts. <coughs> we can change the name of our team. The nut. The nut. The nut slammers. I bet you Pathfinder has some kind of rule for taking nut shots. Yeah, and probably Pathfinder. You can do either the left nut or the right nut, unless it's a Cyclops. Then there's difference there. Oh my God. Uh, we're gonna have to ask Wee Willy for a nut shot rule of clarification for Pathfinder. <laughs> That's right. Maybe just take a penalty to reproduction. Ooh, oh, that could yes, be it too. That's perfect. That's perfect. So his his junk is mangled now. I think all which Orog was just failed. attacked. Orog number one. one. Number yep, number one. Yep. One yep. right in the door. Number one. Yep. You can also zoom in on the map a little bit, and when you hover over, it should say Orog number one, even though it does say it pretty small. Yeah, it's still pretty small for me even when I zoom in. On this laptop. Okay. Kel's gonna cast uh, magic missile on that old Okay, sounds good. Nice, holy shit! Nice damage. Yeah, the the first Orog goes down. I mean, just totally goes down. Orog number one is down and out. <laughs> Gets all tangled up in the. Gets all tangled up in the web. All right, so I'm going to put a, a a nice big blood splatter here uh, to let you guys know that there is a corpse here, and if you move through, it's going to be like times two movement now instead of well times three movement because of its webbing and a corpse now. All right, so nice shot to uh, nice shot, Kel. It's used one of his spells. Uh, looks like the ogre is up. All right, so the ogre. He needs to make a dexterity saving throw. He's going to try to break through, break free of this. This is dexterity saving throw, correct? Yeah. I think you have to you have to make one if you're in the web. Yep. And if you fail, then you get okay. you're stuck in the web. Yeah. And you have to 
we'll Each creature it. that may, needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, okay, so it'll be against your DC. I would, I would uh, imagine. So let's see. You can use this action to make a strength check against uh, your spell DC. It is no okay. All right, this is, all right. So each creature that starts his turn in the webs or that enters them make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, the creature is restrained as long as it remains in the webs or until it breaks free. Okay, so why do we not just eliminate the fucking dexterity saving throw and just do a strength check versus your spell DC? It makes no sense to do, especially for 5e, it makes no sense to do two saving throws. Well, I think that the so, reason why they do that is because if you get stuck, then you have to use your action mm -hmm. to break Strength free. To bust yeah, out. yeah, it, it's still for five E to keep the the rules simple. I don't like the mechanics of of web. There's there's too many roles involved. But uh, I'll play the game uh, with the strength check. Just disallow it. She doesn't even have the spell. That's what's funny. No, she does. She, 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 she does. <laughs> All right, so uh, the dexterity saving throw, it, it does not say what type of, de uh, what is the, the, the DC of this going to be. I guess it would be against uh, your spell DC because it, it yeah, says the creature forward. restrained is a strength check versus your spell DC, but it, it doesn't give me the correct information for making the saving throw uh, to not become restrained anymore. So I think web kind of needs to be reworked a little bit, but no problem. We're just going to use your save DC for both. So, All right, so I saving throw. It's like 13, but I'm looking for it. All right, uh, anyway, I got a, uh, I got a crit, so... Uh, well... Yeah, I don't think it's going to matter anyway. Alright, so... I am no longer s restrained by the webs. All right. And I will go ahead and move to the... I'm going to go ahead and move... Looks like he's running out of, of the room. Looks like he's running out of the room. Alright, that's what he's doing. He's running out totally. Alright, he disappears out of the room. Where'd that guy go? Probably gonna try to come around behind us. He's scared of nutshots. Yeah, it's no bueno. Please, you know, my name's Jeff. Okay, that's his movement. Alright. Next up is Orog number two. Let's go ahead and do Orog number two. Fail. Do a, another dexterity saving throw. Oop! First roll is another 20. So, wow. That's pretty awesome. So he's going to do the same thing. He's, yeah, he's going to, he's charging right out. Uh, let's see, he would, wouldn't he? Yep, from that thing. Uh, say, there's a, there's it would have rolled it if we had a again. had a uh, thing on it. So uh, no, he's he's actually sitting on a roll twice. He's going to have disadvantage, so that will uh, not work. He'll still be restrained. So let me let me put the damn restrained condition on this guy. Should have put it on there uh, to begin with. And I believe restrained is uh, you can still attack. So one second. So does anybody else want to call shenanigans that the, the uh, author and owner of Fantasy Grounds talks to Dave, and then his first three rolls are like 20s? Huh? Huh? There's yeah, a pattern! I, I, I'm to call shenanigans. That's okay, right. attack rolls against have advantage. Okay, so here's your strain in case you don't know. Uh, creatures' uh, speed becomes zero, attack rolls have advantage, creatures' attack rolls have disadvantage, and the creature has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. So he would have got it uh, regardless of, of what you had on him. Because he was, well, if he would have failed his, his restraint, his saving throw. So, All right, so he's going to take one of his spears and chuck it out. Uh, in fact, he's not even going to be able to do that because of the, the line of sight. So he's pretty much uh, done for the round. All right, so Orog number three. Uh, I will go ahead and do a saving throw for him. And uh, he fails his saving throw. 
All right, so he's going to throw a, uh, a javelin that he has on himself, and he's going to attack Kel with that, because it's the only target that, that he can really see. So the, the javelin javelin the base in there. Yes, yep. Yeah, that was a waste. Well, that was good. I like the web. That was a good move. So that's a 21 versus Kel, which is a, a hit. What was a, what was a waste, Misty? Oh, the, the web. It, it, didn't, it didn't stop the one guy that I wanted. <laughs> oh, well, you, I mean, the Orogs, you remember the Orog was pretty, was pretty uh, strong, actually. They got uh, multiple attacks around, had uh, action surge, had all of the, the features of a fighter, so they, they, were, they were pretty Absolutely. tough. But every know, everybody knows Orogs don't wear cups. That's why I'm targeting the nuts. <laughs> all right. So let's see, uh, Kel, you're going to take a total of eight piercing damage from the javelin. All right, so now we're to uh, we're to Theo now. I'm going to do my bonus action of let this dude burn. Okay, go ahead. That's your minor action. Go ahead and do uh, 2d4, uh, 2d8, is it? And drop that damage on him again. Yeah, and wh whenever you guys uh, whenever you guys choose spells, you need to look over the spells and let me know if there's any kind of conditions that we need to add uh, to the spell itself, like any kind of saving throws or any kind of uh, extra damage or, or anything like that. All right, so, wow, nice damage. Uh, 12 damage to Orog number two. And I'm going to go ahead and use my action to look into the room and magic missile or odd number three. Okay, you can you can move because uh, you're kind of in the the, the door kind of where you're at. But yeah, if you want to move over, you can do that and, and cast magic missile. Use your wand. Sure. Alright, so you're going to use one charge or how many charges? You got three charges used yeah. on it already. Alright, I'll put a fourth charge on there for you and you can go ahead and uh, Blast away. All right, so eleven more. The orc kind of staggers around in the, you know, getting more tangled in the in the webbing. Anything else for you? To the face, ladies. <laughs> to the face, ladies. Nice. Did he did he start somebody on fire? Was there a fire thing earlier? Raz is up now. So, Dave, did, uh, did Theo attack with fire? Thansel, thank you very much. Uh, he has a uh, an effect on the Orog that's heat metal. Uh, you know, honestly... about the web combusting. Yeah. N the, also, next time, Theo, I, that's why I was kind of a little taken back about the Orog number two. Remember, if you use heat metal next time, you have to touch them. You can't. It's not a cast. Heat, heat metal is is, is uh, You have to touch a target. Ah, it's a, it okay. says rain. Well, range sixty feet. Okay, such as uh, you can see with. Okay, never mind. I, I, they changed it. So, all right. Oh, okay. It's uh, now casted in in five e. So awesome. Works out good for the players. Works out good all around. Works out good for the monsters too. Oh no! Yeah, heat metal's always been a like a touch type of spell, but uh, now it has a sixty foot range, which Maybe is good. If you have really long arms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You do some uh, dial seam shit from uh, Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Raz, what would you like to do? Thanks, uh, Thansel, for the uh, for the follow. Appreciate it. Alrighty, um, I'm gonna use a bonus action. Okay, and move the hunters, smart. To the Orog number three. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, he's right in front of you. Well, sort of, kind of off the. Can I hit him from here, or do I need to move? Uh, sure. Go for it. Alrighty, and so, do I need to move that to me again, the hunters, mark? Rop ninety-two. Uh, no, it's already on you, so it's still on you. Hunter's Mark will stay on you for a total of nine rounds, nine more rounds, because it has a, a one-minute duration, and uh, ten rounds 
are six seconds. So ten times six, six seconds. So it's going to be, it'll literally stay on you for nine more rounds, and then it'll poof disappear. All right, let me. Uh, All right, so your attack on the Orog is a miss. I know that she refilled her quiver. She forgot to take her ammo off. All right, so this is the second time you shot. All right. So your shot is a miss. Uh, you can go ahead and take any movement that you'd like to, and we'll go on to Alora. Hmm. Well, I was going to do Burning Hands, but it's not going to work out for me. <laughs> it's too far, too far away, and I'm not going to get stuck in my own web. That would be embarrassing. Oh, why not? And then set it on fire. That would be even that, would be even that much more heroic, Alora. Do it. I would. I would do it if I was you. What's the worst that could happen? You know what, Dave? For some reason, I, I just... You'll forgive me if I don't take your advice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's the worst that can happen is I can get stuck in the doorway and take 2d8 damage. Is coming my way. Yeah. I think it's a great idea to fly that bird, even though you don't know how to. What about a cantrip? No, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use magic missile. I was gonna use yeah, magic missile. That's what I'm gonna do on this guy that's directly in front of me. Sorry, Dave, I'm not casting it at second level this time. Oh. I know that makes you happy. No, that's alright. Wait, is Magic Missile a cantrip for wizards? 65, 60, no, no, 65, it's 70, it's 75, 80. Ogres get 40 feet movement around. I was going to say, that'd be a bit OP. So I can get there in two more rounds and everything else will be dead. Alright, so Magic Missile. Alright, go ahead and take that off your... Wow, very nice. Uh, he's taking quite a bit of damage. He seems to be in a somewhat uh, weakened condition. Okay. That's 80 pretty feet pretty as a as a dash. Pretty, pretty nice. All right. Thank you, Donk. Thank you're you, up. Donk. All right. So here's my problem. I don't want to lose my fury by uh, sitting this one out. Sorry, Donk. Fucking charge in, bud. Yeah. I would. I think I'm gonna. Ch I'm absolutely gonna charge in. So, dog gonna kill. So I'm gonna take a couple steps. All right, give here. me a dexterity saving throw as you enter the web. Uh, okay, as I enter the web. All right, yep. I'll do that. As you enter the web. Talk's dexterity blows. All right. Ooh. So you are gonna move here, and you are now restrained. So you can, <laughs> you can, you <laughs> can, you you may break free with a strength check. And seeing that you are, uh, you know, raging, I believe you get advantage with a strength skill check. So you can go ahead and do a strength skill check and try to beat the DC 13 of Alora. Ha! Your web is pussy, Alora. All I right. snap it like it's so you can still use movement. But your action was to break it, and that's and I'm I'm fine with that. I want to get, yep. uh, I want to get into a good position. So I believe I'll move here, and I'll go right next to this thing. Okay. Uh, but you know what? Yeah. I lose my I lose my fury anyway. Yeah. But that's fine because yeah. I didn't do any damage. This yeah. Year. Uh, let me let me ask you. Uh, do the try moving your token and stopping it and then moving it in the new direction you want it to go instead of just a straight line, please. Because I want, okay. I want, I want to see the path that each token's oh, taken, okay, not sorry. just a straight line through walls and corners and stuff. Okay, got it. So trying I'll to here. trying to get everybody into the the habit of doing that. Now, now that you're there, then you just let go of it and then pick it back up and then drag it back over to the, the next direction you want to go. Oh, okay, got it. So it the line changed, but now it says ten feet. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Got. It. Hmm. This is where I wanted to move. Yeah, it's still not still not showing. It must have it, detected but, uh, I'm in web. So. All right. All right, I'm gonna remove my. Uh, I'll remove. Have my, to give them guys a lesson uh, after the game. Since I I blew it. 
I wasn't able to do it. Yeah, you lost your rage. I'll, I'll take uh, I'll take the rage off from take, you. Take, take that off. All right. Yeah. Uh, donk done. All right, Kel, Kel you're up. Performance is underwhelming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the ladies are, are very upset. Uh, he still broke free from the web as he became an untangled. You know. Kel's gonna cast Blade Ward on himself. Okay. Spooky boy. What's going on, spooky boy? The cringe is real. The cringe is real, isn't it? Alright, so Kel's charging in. No, somebody has to stop the other. Ah. And since our first person that probably should have done it ran into the room. <laughs> so I guess it's up to me. Ooh. Do it. Kel the daring. I like it. Kel the magnificent. Don't scare the big spiders. All right. Kill a big chicken. That'll be it for now. All right. All right, uh, so I've already done a double move for the Ogre. The Orog, number two, I'm going to do a uh, strength check to break out of this thing. Because he is restrained. So uh, I do not have disadvantage anymore. I do not have... I get normal check because I'm not restrained. It would be disadvantage on decks, I believe. So... All right, let's do a uh, strength check. And that would be a 13, so that would successfully... Is my PC a 13 or a 14? Because I was looking in one spot and it said 14. But I couldn't find uh, it on like, the first page. Let, let's see. Found it in the spells. It's themselves. Uh, let's just vote for 14. I vote for 14, Dave. Who's with me? Well, it's 8 plus proficiency plus your primary spell casting ability. So yours is intelligence, so it's 12 plus proficiency is 14. So yeah, you, 14. yours is 14. So. Yes. All right, so. You suck. So write, write that down. No, no, I don't suck. Eh? You, I'm the one that figured it out for you. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you suck and my what? Yeah, let me tell you, don't insult the DM in the middle of a battle. <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't know why these five dragons appeared, but they all look hungry. All right, so I, I will, however, I still will take, uh, seeing that he does have multiple javelins, uh, I will still throw my javelins, and my javelins will have disadvantage because any attacks that I do, seeing that I'm restrained, will have disadvantage. So uh, I, I will go ahead and, and definitely do that. So... All right. Let's see. I think I'm going to not take a chance, and I will attack good old Donk. And uh, it's, it's horrible. The first javelin that he throws, poof, that's it. I, I could do another one, but I'm not going to. Because of the whole, you know, pulling javelin out rule and stuff, I'm trying to, you know, get the players only pulling one weapon out unless you have, you know, the, the two-weapon fighting feat, then you can do two. But, yeah. All right, so that's it for Orog number two. Orog number three is beside you. He is restrained, so he's gonna. He's not gonna. Would he try to break free? If he breaks free, then he wouldn't get a, an attack, or he could have. I'm gonna take two attacks at disadvantage on you, Donk. Let's see how that works out. Adva no problem, disadvantage. Orog. Yes, he is a. Uh, also restrained, so let's drop restrained on him, and let's do a couple attacks. Uh, that is an 11 miss. Now let me see if the great axe attack is dis. Yeah, it is. So the condition is recognized. So all right, so he swings at you twice with his great axe and misses. 
basically shaves a couple hairs off of the, the top of Dong's head. So Theo, you're up now. The web really helped them out. Uh, the mm. web really helped them out. Go ahead and uh, use cutting words on o Orog number three. 